Marissa Freeman and Robert Talbot. Marissa Freeman and Yeah, Dumbass really thinks we're not just a bunch of kids behind an Xbox. In the face with a chair. You meant whip it across the room. Alright, quiet. Brought to you by the Memorial AV Club, coming to you from our TV studio in Stenmark. I am Alani. Today is Monday, November 13th, 2023. Let's take a moment for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will go to Studio B where we have our segment on What's on the calendar? Hello, I'm Seth. So what's on the calendar? Today is World Kindness Day. On November 13th, as part of World Kindness Day, we are encouraged to spread kindness like an infectious cold. We want to share it more than usual because studies show when others observe kindness in action, they are more likely to carry out acts of kindness too. So imagine if you head off for the day and your neighbor's garage has tipped over. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> instead of ignoring it and letting the wind make up a mess, you pick it up and return it to the corner. Three other neighbors notice and give you a smile and a nod on their way to work. One of those neighbors noticed a stranded driver on the side of the road on his commute to work. He remembers your uh, uh, thoughtfulness and offers assistance to the stranded driver. Several passerbys uh, take notice. At a business office, a woman struggles with a paper jam. She's had a horrible day. The customer has been waiting, but she remembers the stranded driver she passed you earlier in the day. The customer lets the office worker take her time. Anyone can have a bad day, but this prevents it from getting worse and may even make it better. We each have potential to improve each other's lives through understanding and kindness. Whether it's a friend, family member, co-worker, stranger, our ability to show our community should have no limit. It is also National Indian Pudding Day. National Indian Pudding Day recognizes a cold weather classic. On November 13th each year, serve up this traditional New England dessert that's sure to wow. In the 17th century, English colonists brought hasty pudding to North America, transforming it. Although they initially made the pudding with a wheat due to, the, due to a shortage of grain, the
The colonists eventually used cornmeal. Since the colonists had learned to cultivate maize, or the corn, from the indigenous peoples, the crop was um, readily available. The colonists d derived the name for Indian pudding from their name for the cornmeal, Indian meal. They also replaced the water with milk for added flavor. Cooks add either molasses or maple syrup. Other ingredients they add include cinnamon, ground ginger, butter, eggs, raisins, and nuts. Then they slowly bake the Indian pudding for several hours. Baking transforms the pudding's texture from the original porridge-like quality of a tasty pudding to a much smoother consistency, which is more typical of custard. Before 1900, most American cookbooks included a recipe for Indian pudding. By the 20th century, commercial puddings with an industrially perfect creamy consistency replaced the popular the popularity of the Indian pudding. The long cooking time required for Indian pudding did not appear appeal to 20th century home cooks. However, during the autumn holidays, Indian pudding, some restaurants serve the dish due to its fall traditions. Vanilla ice cream or whipped cream pair nicely with Indian pudding. Some other important dates to remember. November 22nd is an early release day. November 23rd and 24th is a Thanksgiving break, so there's no school. <laughs> Parent Guardian conferences will be held on December 6th. Now we will go back to Studio A. Now for school news. A reminder from the office, you need to have your agenda with you at all times while in school. Your agenda is your pass to move through the halls, and it should be used as a great reminder for when assignments are due and important dates. Slides, flip-flops, and slippers are not allowed to be worn in school. Hoodies should not be worn on your head while in school also. Today's lunch menu is popcorn chicken, cheese pizza, chicken patty, buffalo chicken, salad, crispy chicken wrap, sun butter sandwich, and strawberry parfait. Do you not eat breakfast but you find that you are hungry later in the morning? The breakfast cart offers, offers a grab and go option. You can have your breakfast put in a paper bag to keep for later. Then when you are hungry, you can eat it later if your teacher gives you permission in class. Ask about the grab and go option when you visit the breakfast cart. <coughs> Pathway Civic Program will sponsor a block to raise money for the local animal shelter. Here's how you can participate. You can pay a dollar for each of the following things to do during their walk. Wear a hat or wear your hood, listen to your headphones, <coughs> or wear pictures. Stickers will be given out for all those who donate money and show their support for this fundraiser. See your homeroom teacher for more information. This was supposed to be today but due to the poor weather, it is rescheduled to the week of Thanksgiving. Stay tuned for more details. We are going to introduce a new feature to the morning show as a part of our new changes to the show. We are going to start a daily trivia quiz. Each day we will give a trivia quiz and you will have a chance to win either a new memorial keychain or memorial <coughs> crop exhibits. <coughs> Winner gets to choose. Take a look at these. I don't have anything. <laughs> You'll keep it simple today. Ready? An Indian holiday and festival was celebrated this past weekend. First two people to come see Mr. Landry and tell him what that festival was will win. Last Friday's answer was hydrogen. Penny Wars is coming. Hydrogen, I'm sorry. Penny Wars is coming from November 13th to 17th. During breakfast from 7.10 to 7.30 a.m. Bring as many pennies as you can and put it into your plastic container. Bring in other coins to bomb other home rooms during breakfast. Pennies are points for your classroom. Other, other money amounts take away from your classroom. <coughs> which means that you want which means you want the amount of pennies to add up more 
than the other coins in your container. The class with the most pennies and the class with the highest total amount of money will win a movie in, in snack. Last year, we raised 650 for the DC trip. Let's see if we can top that this year. Now back to GOP for the weather, sports, and more. According to the weather.com, today's forecast will see partly cloudy weather with a high of 42 and a low of 27. Tomorrow we will see similar weather with a high of 44 and a low of 26. In sports, there are no teams playing. Stay tuned for middle school basketball. Tryouts start at the end of November and games start in December. We would like to congratulate the girls field hockey team. The team had a great season of 5 wins and 5 losses. Lots of sportsmanship learned and friendships made. Great job girls. With the cold weather coming, it is time to start thinking about how to stay warm on your, on your way to school. <laughs> Here are some tips for staying warm this winter. The inner layer is meant to keep moisture away from your skin so that your body doesn't cool down due to sweat. Choose wool, um, synthetic or silk, not cotton as it won't do the job. The middle layer should be a lightweight insulating layer. Wool or synthetics work here. The outer layer is the insulating layer, designed to trap heat. Wool and nylon slash polyester work well. Avoid tight-fitting clothing, including socks. Any clothing that reduces normal blood circulation to your arms and legs will actually make you feel colder. Since 7-10% to 10 of heat is lost via our head, wearing a hat can help Scarves, immediate, scarves immediately make you feel warmer. Winter scarves and fashion scarves both work. Just make sure they fully cover your exposed neck. Don't forget a good pair of gloves or even better mittens. Mittens provide better protection from the cold as they keep a full pocket of air in your hand and not extend it to your fingers. Keep your feet warm. Wool socks are a great choice for extra warmth. Most of the time, wearing double socks just makes your shoes feel tight. And now back to Studio A. <coughs> now for some club announcements. Do you tell jokes, sing, play an instrument, or maybe read and write poetry? If you're looking for some t talent at our new Panther Talent Hour. This is a monthly mini talent show in front of a small audience. The Panther Talent Hour will be will be on the third Wednesday of the month from four to five p.m. in the STEM Lab, room two four three. Next day will be November fifteenth. See Mr. Landry or Miss Barrett for more information and to reserve your spot. Did you ski or snowboard? Join the ski and snowboarding club on slopes Monday nights. Beginning in January at Mount Wachusett. Transportation will be provided. See Ms. Boynton for more information. <coughs> Open gym will be held on Fridays from 2 until 3 p.m. sharp. Prepare for the basketball tryouts. The first open gym date will be 11 17 2023. Prior to this, prior to this you must fill out a permission slip that you can get from Coach. Cartier or from the front office. This form must be filled out and returned to Coach Cartier before you will be allowed to participate in open gym times. And there will be no exceptions. This will be a great time to practice your skills and get in some good exercise. Middle school boys and girls tryouts will be starting on the week of November 27th. For questions on middle school basketball, please see Ms. Cartier <coughs> and Mr. Cannon. Now that's to you. That is all for today. Remember that you can watch the Memorial Morning Show on our new streaming server at, no, streaming video server at owncast.cglandry.com, or you can find it on the school information page. You can also watch on FATV Civic Channel, and also on our radio streaming server at radio.cglandry.com, or on the school information page every morning during school at 7.30 a.m. 
You can also catch old episodes on our YouTube channel. To find our YouTube channel, just do a YouTube search for Memorial Middle School Fitchburg or find the link on our school website. Thank you for watching and remember to watch again for all your school news. Have a great Memorial Panther Day. Eat breakfast, kid. Yeah. Breakfast is necessary. Eat your breakfast. breakfast.